Hey YouTube, just want to bring up something today, some food for thought that a lot of people haven't thought about before, or at least something you don't see on YouTube very much, uh, and that's the role of cats and dogs after the collapse. And uh, first I'm going to talk about the bad things, I'll talk about the good things. Um, so a lot of people have pets. Um, so particularly with cats and dogs, um, people aren't going to be able to take care of them, especially if you're not able to feed yourself. You're not really going to worry about feeding a dog or a cat, so you're probably just going to let it go. Um, now, cats, they are pretty good at taking care of themselves. Um, so all the cats that are released are probably going to make it for the most part. Dogs, on the other hand, small dogs like this probably aren't going to do so well by themselves. Um, larger dogs, though, most likely will be able to survive, and I think they'll probably group up in packs because that's kind of what they do naturally. Um, but you got to remember both of those animals are predators. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a direct threat to you, um, especially not cats. Some larger dogs could be, of course. Um, but in most cases, I don't think they would be a major threat. Now, the thing that about them that causes problems is they're going to eat a lot of food. And whenever you dump that amount of predators into the ecosystem, that aren't normally supported by it. So not only dogs and cats, but also humans are predators as well. Um, it's gonna completely disrupt the food chain. So if you have way more predators up top, uh, they're gonna kill off all the prey, and then they themselves are gonna die off. Um, so you don't want that to happen because you're a predator. And one thing you can do about that is uh, you know, try to take out wild dogs and cats. Um, so yeah, that's something people don't really like to talk about, I think, because, you know, you think about your pets and you like don't want to hurt your pets, but, you know, it's a, it's a different scenario. Um, so with that, yeah, I would probably make sure at your bug out location or whatever, like after it collapse, after it collapses, or even like if you're bugging in, uh, just try to, you know, keep the stray dogs and cats down to a minimum and, you know, Dogs and coyotes and wolves and stuff, all of those are predators and things that you would want to eliminate. Um, and one thing, coyotes don't really hunt in packs so much, but uh, dogs and wolves would. And, you know, a dog pack or a pack of wolves could be a threat to you. And one thing that I've learned from watching some videos is, uh, so whenever dogs and wolves hunt, they uh, tend to encircle their prey and what they're trying to do is intimidate them and get them to run because that's how they fight the best is by running after their prey and then grabbing it and dragging it down. Um, but if you ever are in a situation where there's wolves or dogs or whatever surrounding you, the best thing you can do is stand your ground and uh, not run because if you run, that's going to trigger the response to really go after you. And your best chance would be to kind of just stay and stand tall and fight them. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the bad stuff out of the way. Now, good stuff would be how dogs and cats can benefit you. Um, so dogs like this, they aren't going to be that great. This is a Australian cattle dog named Lizzie. Um, she doesn't really have any skills. She's just a lap dog. Not very useful, uh, except for maybe to keep you company. Um, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, cats. The reason humans first started keeping cats around is because they'll uh, get rid of pests, obviously, like mice and stuff. Um, so yeah, it could be a good thing to keep a few cats around that place. Uh, you are trying to keep out mice and small rodents, that sort of thing. Um, be helpful with that. Um, now with dogs, uh, I think the best thing to do would be to have some kind of dogs that are like hunting dogs that can, you know, flush prey out or tracking dogs. Um, so we actually have some blood tracking dogs and, you know, if you shoot a deer or something and it's not a great shot, but still kills it, uh, you know, the dogs can track it down and find it pretty, pretty well. That's what they're trained for. And, you know, that can be a useful thing. Um, but yeah, that's just something I wanted to bring up because I, don't really hear people talking about it. 
and I just want to get people thinking about that. So have a good day.